<laughs> I'm George Washington Toma, the original. You have to realize we had nothing to begin with. I, I started out with $800. I was young, 25 years old, and most of my customers were like my parents. They were older people. They were broke. And that's why I have respect for them and I treated them properly. I understood what their life was about because it was my life too. It's always been a family at home and it's a family business. And I, there are not too many family businesses around. And they're selling policies now. The only policy I sold was honesty is the best policy. And you have to realize in those days, you had small competition on practically every corner. There were small businesses all over the place. And I can remember George said, Dad, how are we gonna survive? I said, we're gonna survive because we're gonna survive. We're gonna stay here and we'll beat the competition. They're gonna fall apart and leave. We won't. When I was working, I was working six days and six nights. My wife was doing the books, so she knew the value of the dollar. That's why we didn't get any money. <laughs> My mother. <laughs> you thought books. it was me, huh? <laughs> Ma. <laughs> the, the foundation, and it really came from both of them, is the, the basics about how to treat people, how to do the right thing, and I mean, as far as setting up, you know, setting us examples for her children, uh, she, she, she did it right, she really. Yeah. Both of our parents stressed honesty and being kind to people, and I think that's what came across. It started as a one-man business uh, 60 years ago. It's gonna be 60 years this year. Yeah. Uh, it, I, I'm here amazed. Uh, here I have my, my daughter and my son. Two and, favorite children out of four. Yeah. <laughs> We have to remember, it was just a small shop, wasn't in very good shape, and look at what we have today and what they've accomplished, and I'm very proud of both of them. I'll never forget one time when I was very young, I, I don't know how old I was, but I was pretty young, riding with them on the truck, went to a lady's house, I think it was on Broad Street, and I uh, <laughs> fixed the TV, and she said, can you go down and pick me up? It was a, uh, a, a bottle of hooch. Oh, you know, oh, the drugstore oh, oh, used to sell alcohol. <laughs> so she asked him, so we get in the truck and we drive down to the drugstore and he gets her a thing of brandy and brings it back to oh, good. talk about customer service. <laughs> I'll never forget that had to be Those are the only 45 time five years ago, forty that, years ago. That was the only time we got booze. The rest of the time we got applause, but that was the only time we got booze. <laughs> good one, Dad.